Former Illini football players accused of sex crimes against children in DCFS custody. The charges against 39-year-old Trulon Henry stem from his work in a program for youth in Chicago. These alleged crimes reportedly happened at Aunt Martha's in Bronzeville and involved victims in a residential DCFS program. WGN's Courtney Spinelli has the story. Micah and Ray, the alleged crimes of sexual assault and abuse reportedly happened at Aunt Martha's in Bronzeville and involved victims in a residential DCFS program. Trulon Henry was working directly with youth when the crimes allegedly occurred. In these cases, the trauma stays with these people often for the rest of their lives. A criminal and DCFS investigation now underway after at least three victims came forward with allegations of misconduct against a now former Aunt Martha's employee. The first report made to staff in April who suspended Trulon Henry and alerted DCFS who alerted Chicago police. Court documents show a warrant for Henry's arrest issued in late May. Sources telling WGN he went on the run. Last week, authorities in Prince George's County, Maryland picked him up, extraditing him back where he was handed over to Chicago police. They're very serious charges. Criminal sexual assault and aggravated criminal sexual abuse among them. Henry is also charged with predatory criminal sexual assault, which according to Illinois statute involves victims under 13. Martin Gould isn't connected to the case, but specializes in representing survivors of sexual abuse in civil cases across the country. There's a lot of questions to ask as to who's running this, this facility, who's hiring these people, who are they using to do the background checks? Aunt Martha says the state runs the background check program. Henry served four years in federal prison, convicted in an armed robbery before his time as a safety on the Fighting Illini football team. Despite being a convicted felon, a spokesperson for Aunt Martha says a rigorous background check process they follow never turned up anything. They say they wouldn't have hired him with a violent felony conviction. It's very concerning, you know, especially when you're dealing with vulnerable uh, people. A spokesperson for Aunt Martha is sharing a statement with WGN News, which reads in part, quote, there is an ongoing investigation into his misconduct and Aunt Martha's is providing any and all cooperation to ensure Henry is held accountable. How did they not have more supervision and better vetting practices given the long history of problems at uh, Aunt Martha's? This is not the first case that we've heard about. A 33-year-old man, also charged in February, accused of sexually abusing a 14-year-old girl in the same program at the facility. He was reportedly working as a security guard hired through a third-party company at the time of his alleged crime. Now, DCFS says no youth are in custody at this facility as of two days ago. When it learned of the allegations, a spokesperson for the agency tells WGN it took action looking for clinically appropriate placement for all youth at the facility. An intake hold also remains in place at Aunt Martha's while Henry remains held in Cook County with no bond. In the newsroom, Courtney Spinelli, back to you.